In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Amen. With you, sir. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, Grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges, chapter 6, verses 11 through 24. The angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth in Ophrah that belonged to Joash the Abyssalite. While his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the winepress to save it from the Midianites, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, The Lord is with you, O champion. Gideon said to him, My Lord, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are his wondrous deeds of which our fathers told us when they said, Did not the Lord bring us out from Egypt? For now the Lord has abandoned us and has delivered us into the power of Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have, and save Israel from the power of Midian. It is I who send you. But Gideon answered him, Please, my Lord, how can I save Israel? My family is the lowliest in Manasseh, and I am the most insignificant in my father's house. I shall be with you, the Lord said to him, and you will cut down Midian to the last man. Gideon answered him, If I find favor with you, give me a sign that you are speaking with me. Do not depart from here, I pray you, until I come back to you and bring out my offering and set it before you. He answered, I will await your return. So Gideon went off and prepared a kid and a measure of flour in the form of unleavened cakes. Putting the meat in a basket and the broth in a pot, he brought them out to him under the terebinth and presented them. The angel of God said to him, Take the meat and unleavened cakes and lay them on the rock, then pour out the broth. When he had done so, the angel of the Lord stretched out the tip of the staff he held and touched the meat and unleavened cakes. Therefore a fire came up from the rock that consumed the meat and unleavened cakes, and the angel of the Lord disappeared from sight. Gideon, now aware that it had been the angel of the Lord, said, Alas, Lord God, that I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. The Lord answered him, Be calm, do not fear, you shall not die. So Gideon built there an altar to the Lord and called it Yahweh Shalom. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm this morning is number 85. The Lord speaks of peace to the people. The Lord speaks of peace to the people. 
I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people and to his faithful ones and to those who put in him their hope. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And justice still shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will get his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Please stand. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich so that by his poverty you might become rich. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for men, this is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said in reply, we have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, amen, amen, I say to you, you who have followed me in the new age, when the son of man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or land for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for this day and all its opportunities. May we put our trust in God this day and do his will, live in love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Thanks be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all the holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying actions of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh, there was sacrifice for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominion, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Christ. Let him come out and glory yours now and 
Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, for on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your sin. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, Lord. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be the same for each other. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Or be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Thanks.